Shalom, giving all praise to you. Hell, Bashim, Hell, Shai, Bashim, And I'm going to entitle this video September Severius was not the first Israelite emperor of Rome. September Severius was not the first Israelite emperor of Rome. So you guys out there that are teaching it, stop it. Okay? You got that from the one west, mainly from Yeshia, uh, High Priest Yeshia. It was him, himself, and Gazak, High Priest Gazak, that delved into the, uh, you know, Constantine, the grade and the line of the Constantines, that they were actually Jake, because for years, we thought they were Edomites. And history, you know, presents them as being, you know, white people. But the Constantine I in that line, the the kings that sat after him, starting from uh, 325 A.D., that was the beginning of uh, the thousand years of us. Well, we reigned because uh, this man was uh, he was uh, bound up in that spiritual chain, you know, pursuant to uh, Revelation chapter 20 for a thousand years. And I was talking about the dragon, the beast, whatever you want to call it. In uh, Revelation 20, he was bound a thousand, start from the first verse, he was bound for a thousand years. So if he was bound, somebody had to be in power. So who was in power? Jake was in power. That's why you had all these different icons of so-called black people all up in Europe, you know, mainly they focus on Spain. Now, the, the, the rebirth of the beast came about in Spain, you know, with the, during the time of uh, Christopher Columbus, Queen uh, King Ferdinand, Queen Isabella, Tor Kamada, which Tor Kamada, if you know about him, he was pretty much the head guy of uh, the uh, what was called the Spanish Inquisition. The, the Spanish Inquisition in a nutshell was about everybody had to be a Christian. When I say Christian, I'm talking about a Catholic, which is the mother of all Christianity. You couldn't be a, you couldn't practice so-called Judaism, you couldn't call yourself a Jew. You couldn't practice uh, Islam. This is why they came against the Moors, you had to, you had to believe, they forced you to believe in um, the Roman Catholic God or the, or the Catholic God, Christian God, which is a white man, Jesus, all that crap, which when they came over here, when, when Columbus and Esau came over here to the Americas, what did they do? If they, if the Indian, the indigenous people did not accept their God and become Christians or Catholics. When you go into the history, I said right today, going to any Latin America, Latin American country, and the official religion. I don't got to search. Look it out. Look look it up. The official religion of every Latin American, Central America, Mexico, South South of Mexico. Puerto Rico, Cuba, um, well, the uh, what's that island? Um, what's the damn island? Uh, I can't think of the name of the island with the Dominicans and the Haitians. I can't even think of the damn island. It's right on the tip of my tongue, but it'll come back to me. Es, I think it's Española. Española is the name of the island, and it's and it's a it's split there. You know, on one side you have the Haitians, and on the other side you have the so-called Dominicans, which a lot of those Dominicans are a mixture of uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi and some of the Northern Kingdom. That's why you run into one Dominican, they might look like an Edomite. 
and run into another Dominican. The same goes with Port the Puerto Ricans, Ephraim. Um, you might run into another so-called Dominican. He looks more, has a, like an Indian look to him, Puerto Rican look to him. Then you got black that look just like Negroes, you know, with the froze and everything. And um, those most likely go back to, uh, or most definitely go back to uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. When you go into the history, the slave from West Africa, the Western coast of Africa, were being brought over here in ships in the Santa Domingo or the island of Hispaniola. That was back in the early 1500s. Because that's when the slave trade began. When they began to bring uh, slaves from so-called Africa, mainly West Africa, that was a little after, during the time of Christopher Columbus, during when he was up in Asia and when he died. He died in, uh, I believe it was 1505, 1506. And there's records where they say um, all the first African slaves was, was brought over here. He might say 15, 20. It was, it was early in the now. It was like 15, 15, 10, 1506. Because they were bringing them back, back and forth. They were bringing uh, some of the slaves from the Americas to Spain. And a lot of the uh, Spaniards are Israelites through the Moors and through the uh, indigenous people of the Americas, which are the tribe, the Northern Kingdom. So chances are you run into somebody from Spain, he may very well be an Israelite. You know, the, the sands of the sea, the stars of the heaven that cannot be measured or numbered. So, you know, we're, hey, it, we were going to be scattered, right? There's many scriptures on being scattered. I may, I may even go into some. Um, and we were scattered. Every, everywhere you went, where you had people, you know, where the white man came, when the white man came to the Americas, the people that he encountered were Israelites. And they even said it. The religious leaders, the scholars from Europe, they said, these are the Israelites. They also said, oh, these are the Northern Kingdom. So anyway, it says here, right? Roman emperor, the five good emperors. These were all Jake's. Nerva, he came after uh, uh, Domitian, which is the younger brother of uh, Titus. I went through this before. And the son, the younger son of uh, Vespasian. So Nerva came in uh, 96 AD and he ruled until 98. Then you had Trajan, which he's also a Jake. So it tells you what they did, what made them good. Is it, is it Nerva? Use, use the adopt, adoptive, adoptive system. Trajan brought Mesopotamia north of Danube. Hope I said that right, read that right. And east of Black Sea under Rome. So he widened the empire. Aid for poor, aid for poor. He helped poor people. He helped poor people. That's why he was one of the good emperors. He aided, he had gave aid to poor people, which we have today is a welfare system, Section 8, food stamps, Medicaid, Medicare, and tax reforms. Hadrian built the Hadrian Wall. So that's considered a public, a, a great public work. Antonius Pius, skilled administrator and builder. Marcus Aurelius, which he's, a, he's an individual in the movie Gladiator. Now, in the movie, they didn't show you that he was a co-regent. There was another guy 
his name was Commodus, but he changed his name. But his son was, he had a son named Commodus. But the man that ruled with him, that was a co-regent to him, was also named uh, Commodus. Matter of fact, I'll go into it. But it, what does it say? Philosopher king. What he was was a, uh, a stoic. A stoic is different from a, or opposite from a uh, Epicurean. A stoic is a disciplinarian, like myself. I can say that I'm a stoic. I can say that Apostle Gabor is a stoic. He did 35 miles bike riding. That's, that's something that a stoic would do. That's about two, two hours of, of, of riding. And um, Apostle, uh, Apostle uh, Ryan Blob is a stoic. I wish I can say that <laughs> for uh, 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 Apostle uh, Sakharan. I wish I can say it, but I can't. No, he's he's getting up there. He's been we, he we've been rubbing off on him. You know, we get on, we tease him, and we tease him a lot because we got him on the spot. You know, he he got this. We all got the flat stomachs now. Our stomachs is getting flatter and flatter. His stomach is still out there. <laughs> So we get on them, but he's getting into it now. He, work, he works out with his son, he spars and all that, you know? And like he asked me, you know, and we were watching the fight. Matter of fact, Shalom to the, to the bishops and the most, most of the bishops came out and, uh, and we were watching the fight and we were just bugging. It was like, it was like, have them brothers been coming to the house every week? That's what we used to do when we was young because we used to always get together, eat and talk shit sometimes do classes, you know. So they came out and you know, we was eating, talking shit, watching the fight. And we were just bugging, you know, just bugging out, you know, laughing, laughing, joking, you know, downtime, man. And uh, so, so uh, uh, Bishop Sakharan looked at me and he said, yeah, I get, I get tired real quick when I'm sparring my son. So immediately I said, yeah, you gotta build up your cardio. Cardio is Latin. You know, for you know, corazón. Uh, cardio means heart. You got to build up your heart. I said, you got to run, brother. I said, you run. I didn't tell him how how long to run, but if you're gonna get out there and walk, walking is great. Matter of fact, matter of fact. I mean, I said I was a disciplinarian, right? I said I was a stoic, like Marcus Aurelius. All the power that he had, he wasn't into. He wasn't into. Uh, trust me. That dude, he, 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 was a, he was the emperor of Rome. So he would be considered the richest man in Rome, right? He wasn't into, into material things. He was into sto things that Stoics do, you know, that disciplinarians do. His, his son was an Epicurean. He wanted, he wanted to pop a lot of different girls, you know, women. He wanted to chill out. Yeah, he, didn't, he wasn't like his father, man. He wasn't like his father. And they show you a little bit of that in the movie. How, was, how uh, Marcus Aurelius was out, out sitting in the, uh, the coach while they were fighting the war. And then they came back and reported him. So he was out there in the field with him. You see? So, you know, it's good to go into this history. See, if you go into the history, Roman history is good because guess what? Roman history is all mentioned throughout the scriptures, man. In order for you to know them prophecies in the New Testament, understanding the New Testament, you got to understand that that was under Roman rule. So sometimes you got to go into the history. And see, if you went into that history of the Roman Empire and the Caesars and so forth and how they related to the Israelites, you would know that the, the first Israelite to rule, to sit on the, on the throne as an emperor of Rome was Nerva. In 96, 96 AD, Marcus ruled, I believe it was the co-regent, I can look him up, I forget his name, but he ruled and he died, I think he died early. He, I think he died in like, I think it was 169, I forget when they started ruling, but Marcus Aurelius ruled up until 180, 181. Then his son came in. And he was like sole emperor 
which was Commodus. And he didn't kill his father. He did not. They put that shit in the movie. He didn't, he didn't kill his father. All right. And that was uh, so you you go you go from uh, 181 to Commodus, and then you go down. How many years? We're talking uh, 12 years, 13 years. That's when uh, um, September September Severus came in. And then you had Presidius Niger. So what it meant by Marcus Aurelius, philosopher king. He was a stoic. He was a disciplinarian. He he wasn't all into, uh, you know, material things. And if you notice, okay, this is supposed to be Nerva. And this is uh, Marcus Aurelius. This would have to be Antonius Pius. If you notice, they got they're bearded, right? They're bearded. All those Edomite rulers, they didn't have no beards on their faces. Now they saw showing you that he had no beard. It, it's possible. So stop teaching that, you know. Learn how to learn how to stop stop uh, regurgitating stuff. Do do the research, man. You wouldn't be the first Israelite king was uh, September the various one ninety three uh, A.D. Oh, that's deep. No, you regurgitated what you you regurgitated that shit that you got from Yeshia because Yeshia didn't know. Here you go, September Severus, the African emperor. Well, guess right, but they were Israelites. They came out of Africa. We were ruling Africa. Hannibal Barkar was an Israelite. The city of Carthage, which is Hebrew for new city. This is the Tetrox statue. The four Tetrox. So they were co regions. There were four ruling. Ruling as one, and they were brothers. They they were not physical, but you know, actual brothers. But if you notice, there's a famous picture. Uh, famous. This is still standing today. If you notice, their noses are. You can see they have the the negroid face. You see the beard. You see the nose chopped off. Nose chopped off. Let me get a better a better picture. Let me get a better picture. You can clearly see that the nose is chopped off. But you can look at the face. This, this brother right here looks like Ash from the HODC. You can see the beard. Get a better picture. And back then, they, they hugged and they kissed. The scriptures speak about this, uh, uh, you know, men used to kiss each other on the on the on the side, the side of the cheek. You see how they hugging? That was, they were they were brotherhoods. They were in harmony. And one of them is named Constantius, which was the father of Constantine the Great or Constantine the First. You see, they got the swords. They got the robes on. They got the capes, the mantles. See, this is something that Esau doesn't want you to know about. You can see, it doesn't tell you who that is, uh, who the bust is. This this ha he has to be a uh, Nero. Let's see if I'm correct. Uh, 
uh, okay, to understand Trump, we should look to the tyrants of ancient Rome. So does this look like Trump? It looks just like Trump. This is, this is, uh, this is Nero. That's Nero right there. So Nero was a tyrant. Look at this. Hadrian, he was a jake, but they made him look Edomized. Now look at this, man. Donald Trump, America, a Roman, whatever. Let me do this. A Roman reversal. See, they're saying that if they, you know, what these Edomites do, these people behind the scene, when they compare, they compare uh, Trump to Nero. But you know why? Because he's not, that's Nero. That's Nero. Look at him. Only difference is Nero had a chin beard, a beard that was up under the chin. That's September of virus. You can clearly see. Well, that's IUIC. <laughs> There's a bus. We got an emperor called Caracalla. I believe. Okay, Caracalla. See what I put in black emperors of Rome. Look at that. I'm showing you. Let me click on this. Caracalla. Okay, this is uh, Publi Publius Septimius Gator. And you can clearly see that he's a Jake. And this, see, Esau is in uh, fear of a black planet. Cause they they got the history. They know they know that we took over the Roman Empire. We pushed them out of their seats. We were all up in the Senate. We didn't we didn't took over the whole Roman Empire, man. Step by step, and we're taking taking over again. Okay, the African Roman Emperor. There's a BBC uh, Africa. Let me click on that. It says Emperor Louis, Lu, Lucius Septimius Severius was the first Roman Empire to have been born in Africa. Yeah, because because of the, so they were, he was born in Africa, but he was an Israelite. He ruled over the Roman Empire from eighty one ninety three, which also included parts of North Africa. Remember Carthage, we rule Carthage. But he wasn't the first. Right here, it says, uh, this is a book, How to Think Like a Roman Emperor, the Stoic Philosophy of Marcus Aurelius. So he was a disciplinarian. Disciplinarians lead a solitary life. They hang out with people, but they're, they're, they're at their best when they're alone. They got it. They could think freely. Another image. 
I look like everybody's uncle at the cookout. Was Septimius Severus a black Roman Empire? Yes, he was. Not only him, but many others. Okay, this right here is definitely, they don't, they don't tell you who he is, but this is uh, Commodus, the son of uh, Marcus Aurelius. And there's a famous bus. You can see, you can see that he's Jake. He actually had a lion cut a head, lion's head on, dug it out, and made like a hoodie out of it. He's not telling you who it is, but I know, I know that this is a Commodus. The Etruscan blacks. Now you got a people from the South Pacific, the Islanders that are called Minoans. Do you know Mano Manoa is a Hebrew word? Manawah, Manoa. He was the father of uh, uh, Samson. His name was Manoa. So you got a group of people called the Minoans. So you got Israelites mingled among those South Pacificas. Black is back in fashion. Let me click on this one. Roman Africans. These were Jake's. Look at that, the fro. Look at the facial features. Cut the guy's nose off. And you got Jake's. That got the, like the wavy hair, you know. Anyway, oh look at this, look at that. Okay, you can tell that that's a Jake because they clearly chopped the nose off, chiseled the nose off. Hadrian, you can see that they chiseled the nose off. The devils are hiding the truth. Look at that. Look at that. The beard. You can see they chopped the nose off. Why did they do that? Because he because he had a a, a a negroid nose, as they would say. So you had emperors way before way before uh, September of various. The first Israelite to rule Rome, to sit up on the throne as an emperor, was a man by the name of Nerva, 96 AD. Lucius Varus. Let me do something. Let's see what comes up. By right, Lucius Varius. I believe that this is the coal region. Lucius Varius.
Lucius Aurelius Varius. Was was Roman emperor from one one sixty one A.D. until his death in one sixty nine, and uh, uh, Marcus Aurelius ruled for another what is it twelve years. So this guy died while he was si sitting as co regent with uh, Marcus Aurelius alongside his adopt his adoptive brother. Marcus, which is Marcus Aurelius. So they were part of the family. Was Lucius Varius related to Marcus Aurelius? Definition Lucius, uh, Lu Lucius Aurelius. Varus was was Roman emperor from 60, 161 until his death alongside his adoptive brother Marcus Aurelius. He was a member of the Nerva Antonian dynasty because they had dynasties. Like you had the, Fla the Flavian dynasty consisted of Vespasian Titus and uh, Domitian. And then when Nerva came on the scene, that was the beginning of a different dynasty. So these were family members that ruled. Dynasty means powerful uh, family. It says his adopted brother, Marcus Aurelius, he was a member of the Nerva Antonian dynasty. So that right there further proves that Nerva was a Jake because they came out of the family of Nerva. They come in, come out of that dynasty. Look up the word dynasty. It means powerful family. They had a TV show called Dynasty because it was a powerful, loosely translated, it means a powerful stand. The, Ro the Rothschilds are considered a dynasty. The Rockefellers are considered a dy dynasty. The Oppenheimers are considered a dynasty. The royal family out of England, so-called royal, they're considered a dynasty. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.